Y'all all know nothing goes in my favor. Well, I clicked record on my audio, and let me turn this light on just for y'all can like see me better. Ooh. I clicked record on my audio, and well, it didn't record. But like my camera recorded audio, so my camera audio is what we're going to be hearing in today's video. It's not as good, but I do mention in the video that I'm using a new mic. Um, that mic did not pick up the audio because I had the settings on something else. So, ooh, my desk just almost fell. Um, but yeah, so the reason why I, um, I said I was using a different mic. Ooh, I cannot get there. I'm, I'm using my phone to record this way. The camera is already plugged into my computer, but yeah, I'm using my um camera audio, so if it's a little not as good, that's why. But yeah, let's get into Shira. Hello, everybody, my name is Connor, and today I am reacting to Shira and the Princesses of Power. Um, it is storming outside really bad where I live, so I'm just putting that out there as a warning. Um, here, let me let me show you. You can come with me. Oh, you can see more of my room. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Can you see this? Now let's go back. Okay, this part of my room is like empty, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Y'all might not have been able to hear me that well due to the fact that I am using my, um... This mic now. So, like, I'm using this mic now, so when I walked over there and started talking, I probably have to, like, do the audio somehow. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to get into this episode of She-Ra because last episode was absolutely amazing. Um, I cried. That's not, like, unnormal. That's not, like, different for me. I cry a lot on this show because it's really good. I cry a lot in general, especially cartoons and anime. And live TV shows. I like to cry. Actually, I don't like to cry. I just do it. Um, but yeah, basically, last episode was really good. Katra had a redemption arc, which is what I've been waiting for because y'all know I, I love, I love them all. I love all the characters, but Katra has been getting on my nerves lately, and it's just you know a little too much to handle. So it's really glad that I'm really glad that Katra's having like that moment where she realized she made all these mistakes in the past about Adora, Glimmer, the Horde, working for these people, getting mad at these things, doing this when really. She was to blame, but she's also, like, really insecure and, like, broken. You could tell she's insecure. You could tell she's broken, and she wanted to stay there because she realized what she did was wrong. It's just she didn't know how to fix that. Um, so I actually feel really bad for Katra, but at the same time, she does so much wrong that it's, like, hard to be like, okay, I forgive you. But it seems like Adora forgives Katra a lot, so if Adora can forgive Katra for the stuff she's done to her, then I can forgive Katra for the stuff she's done to Adora and the other people. So, I mean, Katra still has redemption, rede redeeming qualities, just like what she did here with uh, Glimmer. And she literally sacrificed herself basically to save Glimmer and to save Adora, to give Glimmer to Adora for Adora wouldn't go there. But I feel like Adora and them are going to go back for Katra because I can't just leave Katra in space. And I feel like Scorpio and all that's going to be like, no, better go back for Katra. So if they go back for Katra, then, um, maybe that'll be the final fight with Horda, uh, Lord Horde Prime. What else happened? Um, Entrapped is amazing. I love her. She just had really funny, at, like, scenes last episode, so I'm glad we got to see more Entrapped. I'm glad she's with us. Uh, she made space suits, which look really cool. Um, but I'm really scared for what's gonna happen to Catcher, though, because at the end, he's like, everyone has a purpose, and I'm gonna get them. So, like, I wonder if he's gonna do something Catcher. I really hope he doesn't, because I kind of want him to stay at, like, this redemption, like, kind of area. This era of Catcher, new Catcher. But I'm scared something's gonna happen that makes her backfire against the door if that makes any sense because like brainwashing or something like if he could be like make her like act like one of the clones um then that would be really scary because i don't want to see catcher like that and i think he called her catcher and not little sister like that part i'm not 100 percent sure though um but yeah i'm really excited to get into this episode and i hope you are too if you like my reaction make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button comment down below check out my patreon for full 
uncut early release reactions down there. Um, the next episode should be out by Wednesday, either today to Wednesday, like span, because I've been trying to work on getting everything done. Um, Patreon will help a lot, help this channel. Um, hit that like button, subscribe, and yeah, tell me what you think about this episode, and what you think about, like, the previous episodes, because I really want to hear what y'all think about them. Um, uh, I love responding to your comments, hearting them, and all that, and reading them. So, um, yeah, but I'm really excited to get into this, so I think I'm gonna just get into it, so... Let's get into it. <laughs> also, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch down below. <laughs> I literally never get a break. My cup broke. No, oh, I'm sad. Mm -hmm, that's sad. <laughs> Please don't make me cry. I'm emotional right now after I just shattered my gift for Christmas. My cup, my My Hero cup. Hey, Entrapta. No. On the edge of greatness. Dirt of darkness to light. We're right beside you. Ready to fight, 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 fight. We We must be brave. We must be free. Find every little strength that we have and never let it go. We must be strong. You're welcome for my singing skills. That was horrible, probably. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Amen, Scorpio. Um, Swift Wind's looking for them in the stars. <laughs> It's been that long, like days, but um, I like their friendship. Kyle said he had a crush on Rogelio. Kyle! Yeah. At now that we're in this universe. Do they not need spacesuits to breathe? I, I guess not. Where's the crystals at? Maybe they have to go mining. Maybe they have to mine for them. Is that a pride? Pride, oh my god. Prime thing? Uh, this is what Ethereum would become. Mm hmm. Oh, honey, I mean, it is, but. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, they're definitely mad at her still, but they, uh, it, this is stressful. Ooh. They're really mad at Glimmer, though. I don't blame them for being mad at her. She clearly did a lot of this, but still. Bo's mad at her, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh. Thank y'all. They were good together, I feel, because ice and water. And she found crystals. Mm. I don't know, she would, I don't think she can. Oh, poor thing. Yes, they are. <gasps> Oh, magic. Ooh. Oh, who are these people? Oh, these people from the trailer, huh? Oh. They remind me of Steven Universe characters, actually. That's literally what we're doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Oh, that official. <laughs> Ooh. Aww. He's still sad, though. No. 
Mm. Now it's a dead planet. Oh, what was your all oh, poor honey? Honey. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Shishira. You have friends up there too coming. Mm. They have two. I think they get that. Yeah, they get that. Hmm. Sad. Watch out, be safe though. Thank you. <gasps> no, 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 no. Ooh. She can't go back. Or she's, or she's gonna get it. <gasps> I wish she still had her ability to teleport. That would make things way easier. <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> Watch out. Thank you. Oh, those are really cool. Mm. Just hurry, Glimmer. Just throw two down. Oh. Wait, you do not have a grappling hook arrow? You just... Okay. Ah, uh, this is stressful. <gasps> oh. <gasps> <laughs> I can't believe she used her Shira powers again like that. That was really cool. I love that. Oh. Help, 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 help. I'm trapped it. Just like wrap it up with your hair. Hmm. Thank you. Oh my god. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> and keep these people with us. Please. I'm glad she has her shit rip powers, so maybe all oh, Swiftman can recognize that. Right? Maybe. <laughs> they talked about her. Mm-hmm. But they're there. <gasps> really? Are they like, how are they joining us? Like, are they gonna just drive shit fly next to us? Yeah. She thought she was doing good, though. She thought she was doing good. <laughs> Is she gonna get the message? Are you gonna go try and save her? Yeah. Okay. Can we? Can we go get everyone else? Yeah. Okay, that's good. He noticed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah! I love that. Oh my god, I love that so much. So that was she and the Princesses of Power Season 4... Uh, 5. Episode 4. And that was a really good episode. Yo, these episodes have been really good lately. Um, I'm really ready to get into the next episode. Hopefully I can like try and film it, but I can't today because I have to get this one posted. Oh, I can't right now because I have to get this one posted because they had that little delay with my coffee thing, which took another like hour. I try to get all those pieces up, try to get everything up, you know, because... <sighs> but yeah, um... 
that was a really good episode, and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below. Check out my Patreon for full, uncut, early release reactions. Um, Shiva has her powers back, and that is really amazing because I knew she was gonna get her powers back because like you're not, you're Shiva, not the sword. The sword, just like the weapon, whatever that Shiva uses. But like, I'm really glad that they're just like letting Shiva. Like, the power is sh her, she is she and she used the magic. And they said that magic has never been in the universe, whatever, for, like, forever. They haven't seen it in the forever. And they think that she might actually have a chance to beat uh, Horde Prime now, because magic's back. And if we can get Glimmer with her magic, I don't know if we would be able to because of, you know, the circumstances. Maybe if they went back to Earth, uh, uh, Etheria, um, and then they have everyone at Etheria, maybe, then, because, um, they have, like, their rune stones and all that. But, um... Yeah, they think they have actual possibility of doing it. And it's the star siblings. There's... Let me just pull it up real quick. Let me look at their names. There's Starla and Jewel Stars, the ones I wrote down. Then they also have the robotic one. And then they have the little, like, shiny, like, owl thing, which is really cool. Um, so, they're really awesome. And, yeah, I really like them. I want to see more about them. We also saw, uh, Casparella and... No, we didn't see Casparella. We saw Spinnerella and, uh, Nettasa. So it's really good seeing them again, and um, yeah, I'm just excited to be back watching Shira. So I hope you enjoy my reaction. If you do, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment down below. Check my Patreon for full, uncut, early release reactions. If you subscribe to my Patreon, it'll help fix my. It'll help me buy new credit card. Okay, bye.